who moves back into the starting lineup today for Dallas Baptist. We are underway here in game three of this Columbia Super Regional. Starts in the regular season. That one's grounded off Savino's ankle into left field. And Rivertown will start off this game getting on base with solely as a reliever. Ground ball to the left side, and that one gets through. So Dallas Baptist starts off this third game of the series with back-to-back -back hits. Got him to lift it into the air to right field. Teal makes the catch, and that'll do it. <laughs> Inside, ball four for Kyle Teal. Yeah, I don't know if he... 2-2 two -two pitch. Ortiz pops it up in the infield. Sosa camps underneath, and there's the third out. He could potentially have three teams into the College World Series. Here's Blaine Jones starts off the second ground ball. Nicely done by Kent at short. Payoff pitch to Sosa. Puts it in play. Weak ground to third. Geloff. And the tag is made by his brother Jake Geloff at first. Wow, that could have been scary. Nick Kent, the shortstop, after making that nice play in the field, gets on top of that fastball and lines it into the outfield for a single to start this bottom of the second. Runner goes, swinging a miss, throw down to second. It is high. Nick Kent will steal second after Christian Bolwer. His throw was off the mark. Heads up play. Whenever you see a ball that should be bunted, Ooh, boy, what a nice play by Jones to be able to get that ball. That, that's a bad hop. He goes up with the glove to be able to make the play. That could have been some real bad luck for Dallas Baptist on that play. Look at the bounce right here. Gets away, but he makes a nice play to stay with him and get the out. Trying to get to the College World Series for the first time in school history as Rivertown draws a walk. Here's the payoff pitch. And that one he did not miss. Jackson Glenn gets the party started for Dallas Baptist. And the little guy made the catch. A two-run home run for Jackson Glenn. Puts Dallas Baptist up 2-0. Glenn with a man on, stepping up. Uh, he crushes this ball out. And you thought that catch in Codier was good. How about doing it with the cell phone in your hand as you're taking a video, knowing for some reason that this ball is coming to you, makes a great play. Pharrell Shoemake, the young man, the local pitcher, making the grab, filming the whole thing. Congratulations, that was phenomenal. Unbelievable catch as he's filming himself. Crady with a chopper to short. Kent makes the throw. Two down here in the top of the third. That is laced up the middle. And Gabby, the Patriots are starting to put together some good swings against Nate Savino here. Holmes, that's not. I'm telling you, Holmes. It's a beautiful campus. There's the third out of the inning. It's that phone out and is able to actually record it. Newell chopper up the middle and Glenn can't make the backhanded play. So bottom of the lineup delivers once again for Virginia. Three balls and a strike. Fastball hit up the middle right at the second baseman. There's one at second over to first. Double play. A 4-6-3 double play turned by Dallas Baptist. Sharp. Here's the one-two. Fastball grounded up the middle. Jones. And the throw is offline. But you want to kind of catch it. That thumb being towards the ground so you give yourself a bigger pocket. First pitch swinging is Kyle Teal to the left side. Benefield calling for it. And there's the third out. He's just a grinder. And that is smoked in the left field. Now right now, Nate Savino is just keeping that ball on the outside. What he does here with this 1-2 pitch. That was all red fastball. Lifted out to left. Tap in. Makes the catch. 
The Dallas Baptist with one hit strands the runner. Kent is posing, staring deep to left. It's out of here. Nick Kent, the shortstop. A solo home run here in the bottom of the fourth. Virginia is now on the board and trails two to one. Tough play for Benefield, and he's just going to eat it. An infield single for Jake Gello. Michael sends one to right, drifting over as Robleski at the wall makes the catch. Well, let's give you a flash. City in Dallas, Texas, founded in 1898. And strike three. Andrew Benefield goes down on strikes. Matt Wyatt, Coach Hefner, he allows former players to come back. There's a ground ball by Newell and another infield hit. Man, Newell just knows where to place it, and he's got the wheels to back it up. Those players that were there the year before, so they're still friends with these guys. Still talk to Runner them. Runner so goes. It's great to be able to get that information. And great job by Newell there, seeing that ball in the, down in the... Geloff lifts that one into right field. Robleski makes the catch. And Newell tags from second. He'll get to third with just one out here in the bottom of the fifth. Max Cotier, the second baseman. Got him swinging. Off speed pitch by Ray Gaither was nasty. Two down. Payoff pitch. Change up. Got him. Ray Gaither letting him know. That's right. We came to play. Looking for a hit here in his third at bat. He strikes out looking. Matt Wyatt. Quickly ahead in the count. One and two. Got him looking. Outside corner. Back to back strikeouts to start this sixth inning. As a defense, you love it. And for Coach O'Connor, he loves that even more. What an inning. Matt, Matt Wyatt, Wyatt strikes out the side. Ball, one ball, two strikes. Breaking ball. Slow roller up the middle. Dive by Jones. Does he have time? No way! <laughs> Blaine Jones just robs Kent of a single. We might have another top ten play right here. Oh, I'll tell you what. Jones didn't forget about Kent robbing his hit as soon as this ball got hit. Six, the three, two. Grounded to the right side. Glenn from the outfield. No way! And, you know, normally you would see maybe one of those, but two oh, and back to back. Just strut your stuff. Did he catch that? No way! <laughs> oh, it is just back to back Sports Center top 10 highlights. For town. That one is well hit, into right, going back off the right field wall. Teal will get it back in quickly, play it second, got him! <laughs> this game is just incredible. Whew. I mean, this ball gets ripped by River Town, but I don't know why guys want to keep testing that arm of Kyle Teal, because it's a good one, but yeah, we might have a little bit of a replay on this one. Just fires it in there. The ball definitely beats him there. But the tag, ooh, ooh that tag to the knee. So here we go, home plate umpire, Grady Smith. Safe. So after going to review, the call is overturned. So they're gonna intentionally walk Jackson Glenn. Top of the seven. Fastball, lifted into left. Tapping is there, and there's the third out. I mean, I know that we look at this game as, as something else, but man, all three games have just been special. Teams have just been letting it all on the line. Jake Geloff leads off this bottom of the seventh inning. Four gonna be swinging, I'm letting him swing at least. 
A 3-0 breaking ball misses, so Geloff walks on four straight pips. Well, he's in a big spot here. 1-1 one, one pitch is grounded to the right side from the outfield. And no play for Glenn. In there, you got to be ready for it. Breaking ball lifted to the outfield. Back at the wall. It's out of here. Kyle Teal with a grand slam in the seventh. And Virginia takes their first lead of the ball game. 5-2 here in the bottom of the seventh. Coach O'Connor compared Kyle Teal after the game to Kelly Leak from the Bad News Bears. A contact, but that's just a nasty pitch. Blaine Jones grounds that to him to Kent. A 1-2-3 inning after Virginia takes the lead in the seventh. And Sherlin misses on four straight pitches. 3-0 count. And Sherlin, his second walk of the inning. Here's the 2-2 again. Got him swinging. So Peyton Sherlin keeps it at a 5-2 game. Or been to the College World Series. Grounded to the right side, and that one is through. Austin Bell with two outs gets on board with a single. There's no quit in these Patriots. Rivertown lifts one to center field. This could be it. Newell makes the catch. And for the first time since 2015, Virginia is going back to the College World Series.